comes from up there. It flows past here through a lot of different caverns. So a power station was constructed. You can see it there. It converts the flow of water into electricity, but the men who built it blocked off one or two caverns that lead from here to the sea. You mean they were sealed accidentally? Uh huh. They still get enough water to operate the station. But no one knows oh. what could be inside those caverns that were sealed off. Maybe it's whatever made those strange noises. Or maybe people just imagine hearing them. Oh, she know. Come back here. Come back here, boy. Don't go down there. Nobody's allowed it's down dangerous. there. Come back. Oshino, who knows what's down there? Come back here. I'd better use my flashlight. Do you think he's all right? I hear something. It's the sound, the one people have told us about. Hoshino! Hoshino! Come back here! Hoshino! Hoshino! Cold air. It's going in that direction. That's a sign that there's got to be an exit down here, and I wonder if it leads to the ocean. dangerous down there. You get lost. That's strange. The water's salty. Oh? That means this might lead to the sea. Do you think it's an exit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Chino, we may have to swim. Hmm, I'm not scared. As long as we can get out of here. I doubt it. It doesn't seem possible that a landslide destroyed the Eastern Power Station. It doesn't make sense. There was no earthquake in the vicinity. It says here someone saw a monster. They say they saw a monster. Captain, I sent Hoshino to that area to investigate some strange sounds that people reported coming from a well. Fuji went with him in case he ran into trouble. So Fuji is there too, huh? Yes, sir. And that well they're checking up on is near the power station. That's why I'm worried about Hoshino and Fuji. Captain, I've been trying to radio Fuji, but I get no answer. Uh-oh. I hope they're all right. And they didn't get caught in that landslide. We'll check into it. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. As the men of the science patrol race to the scene of the disaster, Hoshino and Fuji manage to escape into the sea where they are rescued by fishermen. There's the wrecked station. We'll take a closer look. Get ready to land. Okay. huge monster you claim you saw. Which way was it headed? Well, it uh, just disappeared, sir. What? It was there one minute and then it was gone. I think it's come to this power station before. Why do you think that? Because occasionally there was a strong drain on the generators. As though the monster were taking electricity. Taking it? Hey, Captain! Fuji and Hoshino are alive and uninjured. They're resting at a nearby hotel. They were found in the ocean on the other side of that hill and brought in by some fishermen. How did they get into the ocean? I'm not sure. Their car was found near that strange well. Let's ask them about it. And you heard the roar of some kind of monster? Yes, I certainly did. And you claim you never saw it? Uh-huh. Then no one has seen it. You don't think it could be invisible? Oh, there go the lights. Come in. Captain, there seems to be some trouble at the Awami power transmission station. Roger. That station's not far. I wonder what's wrong there. Earlier today, a power station's attacked. Now, transmission station's not far. Kayata, you and Hiroshi drive to the transmission station while I look at the wreck station again. Yes, yes sir. sir. What went wrong? I don't know. All the voltage suddenly went to zero. We don't have any power. Is there a short somewhere? I checked. Nothing seems to be wrong. I can't understand it. Invisible right now. Here I go. Arashi, be careful. All right. Look, it's recharging itself. It's got to take in energy.
third of these three power stations has just been attacked. But this one over here hasn't reported anything unusual so far. Then if the monster doesn't lose its appetite for electricity, this power station should be next. Mm -hmm. It's got to be. So we'll get ready for that attack. Hayata, get all the information you can on that station. Yes, sir. I've got a great idea. We can starve the monster. Oh, what do you mean? It's easy. We'll order every power station in the area to cut electricity. You know we can't do that, Ito. What do you think will happen if there's no electricity? Everybody would be in a panic. The entire country would be helpless. And that's not all. No phones, no water, no trains, no nothing. I hadn't thought about all that, Arashi. Without electric power, we wouldn't be able to function either. The station we think is next generates nearly 20 million kilowatts. And what's more, the station supplies the center of the city. Mm-hmm. This leaves us no choice at all. That station has to be protected. It's not going to be easy, sir. We're back at last. Fuji and Oshino, are you feeling better now? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey, Urashi, will you lend huh? me this gun? Careful, Hoshino. It's too dangerous. I want to use it against Naranga. Naranga? What's that? Hmm. The monster, naturally. A book I read said the monster lived down in the well in that area. Some soldiers, many years in the past, are supposed to have destroyed Naranga. But it didn't die. I'm sure because I saw a huge eye peeking at me down in the well. Oh, do you think that's the same monster that's attacking the stations? And if it is, Professor Hoshino, tell me why the monster suddenly attacks after having slept all these years. The loss of voltage started recently, just after they constructed our newest station. And the cables underground awoke that ancient monster. That's quite logical. And Naranga learned how to turn the electricity he was absorbing into energy. As a result, he grew larger and larger, till it had to come out at last into the open air. We know the result. Now we've got to destroy the monster, and we've got to do it before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Electricity makes it appear and then go away again. It's got to be destroyed when it needs energy, and we can see it. Mm -hmm. Ito, everyone living near the next power station is to be evacuated. Yes, sir. Right. And Arashi? Sir? Is the ship fueled and ready for instant takeoff? Yes, sir. Headquarters to ground control. Clear us for emergency takeoff. Fasten safety locks. Under the protection of the rocket launchers and the Mobile Super Ray Corps, the city's main power station continues to operate. But an emergency alert is in full force. No reaction, sir. There isn't a sign of the monster. Okay. Continue to report all areas. Keep on checking. Hoshino is. I'm worried. Hoshino thinks he can destroy the monster. He won't have a chance. I've got a reaction. Range a thousand. Captain, it's coming. I know. We'll attack it before it attacks us. We're waiting for an exact reading.
looks like we got it. The monster's gone. Sorry, sir. The turbines have all been completely wrecked. Have they? Then you're wise to get out. You did a good job. Hoshino's got that gun. I wish I had it. I blessed that monster right off the face of the earth. I just wonder where Hoshino is. Save us.
solar energy which gives Ultraman his superhuman power decreases rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The timer starts to blink. If it stops completely, it will mean that Ultraman has exhausted his power and he will never rise again. There's Hayata. I'd like to know where he's been. Isn't that sunset lovely? Yes, and now that the monster's gone, I can enjoy it. Okay, let's head home. 